So if you're looking to convert your PDF into a usable CAD file, uh, and you're thinking to yourself that maybe you want to be using some of these free online converters that offer to convert your PDF into DWG or DXF, um, I'm here to suggest that maybe you might want to try uh, Scantacad's 14-day free trial um, instead of using these online converters. Uh, I'll show you why uh, Scantacad is a better option. First off, let's open up a PDF file. As you can see, um, I'm opening up the PDF file on the desktop application of Scantacad. So in this case, you don't need to uh, upload anything onto the internet. Um, some free online CAD converters will require you to upload your sometimes sensitive P PDF files into um, their servers, sometimes they even email the results to you. So you're not really sure about the security of that um, setup. In this case, for Scantacad, you open it, uh, you download the Scantacad app, you install it on your machine, and then you open up and convert your files on your machine. Uh, none of this gets um, uploaded onto any servers, and all of your privacy is um, kept intact. So, uh, now that we have this PDF opened up here, um, I'm going to show you some other options that might convince you that Scantacad is the better op uh, is the better uh, choice for uh, converting your PDF files. Um, for most of the free CAD, uh, free CAD converters that you find online, they won't have a lot of these um, really neat options when it comes to converting your files. For these PDFs, for example, you can uh, optimize these vectors. So um, if you'll notice some of the free online CAD converters will have circles that aren't really circles, but rather they're um, polylines that have a lot of nodes uh, and they're just made to look like circles. Uh, for Scantacad, you can actually choose to uh, optimize your vectors to convert all of those um, non-circles into actual circular objects. Same with arcs or any other Bezier's that you want to convert. You just go ahead and click on Convert Vector here, Convert Vector Image, choose Optimize Vectors, click on the Optimize Vectors tab, and then do uh, take all of the objects that you want to optimize. You can even remove text if you would like. Uh, for example, if I want to remove all of the text in this PDF, I just click on Remove Text, I run to produce a preview image here, as you can see. It takes out all of the text. So obviously I'm not going to do that. I want to keep the text, but it just shows you what Scantacad is capable of. Another thing is it's very good at recognizing text and converting them um, accordingly. So in this particular PDF, these are actual text objects, so there's no need to optimize them. But uh, a lot of PDF files are going to have text that aren't actually text objects. They're polylines that look like text. Um, Scantacad, unlike most free CAD converters that you find online, I can actually convert those polyline text into actual editable text that you can edit here. Um, if you have any polylines here, just click on Convert Vector Image once again. Click on OCR. and You have, you have a couple of settings that you can manage here, but once you click on Run, it's, it should produce a preview image here and you can check if it's um, converted properly. I'm not going to do it here because uh, all of the texts are already vector text objects. So those are just some of the tools that you can um, use when you avail of the 14-day free trial of Scantacad. Um, so to recap, Scantacad does not require you to upload any of your sensitive PDF files onto any servers. Uh, and additionally, it has a lot of tools and functionality that um, these free online converters just simply don't have.